going to be doing a mod showcase for Minecraft over the Dalek mod, which is basically a TARDIS mod and space mod where you can build a TARDIS, fly around, go to space and stuff, and yeah. So, there's a ton of stuff to cover, so this is going to be multiple parts. So, in part one, I'm just going to be reviewing the TARDIS and how to make it. So, you have tons of different types of TARDISes. I got my top four favorite TARDISes. And to make them, you need to make the, the TARDIS chameleon cartridge. Oh. And to do that, you get electronic, so let's just say to make this one, you get electronic circuits, red concrete, a TARDIS shell, brass gets and an end crystal. To make the TARDIS shell, you need the Zetion 7 crystal, which you get from mining, a steel block, and then steel ingots, which you, you basically get all that from mining. From mining. And then to make the electronic circuits, it's just silicon, which is mining, iron, and redstone. So it's a pretty easy thing to build. You build the circuits, and then to make the TARDIS, let's say you have this one. It's So let's say you have the Ambus Studios TARDIS. You just need that chameleon cartridge for it in the blue concrete. So I would recommend downloading the Dalek mod with... Um, just enough items, just so you can look at all the recipes and stuff, but that's just, from my opinion, to make it easy. And you will also, if you're playing on a server with friends and stuff, you will prop, you will need a TARDIS key, which is used to lock your TARDIS, it's just an ender pearls from gold, and yeah, ender pearls from gold, basically. And yeah, so now we're going to be going over the TARDIS. My top four, so we're gonna go with my favorite, which is the Pokeball. You throw it on the ground, and it's just like a Pokeball sitting on the ground. And then to use the key, you shift, right click, and then see the TARDIS is locked onto my TARDIS. Sorry, the key's locked onto my TARDIS. To enter the TARDIS, you can right click it, and it opens, and then you jump into it. All of the interiors of the TARDIS are different. This is the interior of mine that I got for the- this is the Pokeball's I, interior. I got the it's pretty cool, it has some vents and stuff. And then you come in here. You can always extend the TARDIS by breaking these and building off, but I wouldn't recommend it. You can just- I think everything you need is in here. And yeah, so you go- to go and to go and actually fly the TARDIS, you need to go over to the TARDIS monitor, and here you can go to the Nether and Varos Moon Sacro. Uh, I'm not gonna try to pronounce that. I'm not gonna try to pronounce that. Minecraft Classic. Okay, Mars, and then, yeah, the overworld. And then if you just want to move regularly, okay, this is how you switch what it shows. If you have the circuits, you can build all the circuits if you want, and then put them in your um, circuit cartridge, and then you can choose any of these as your thing. Yeah, so let's move from negative 93 to... Negative 100. We can stay at the same X and we'll go 450X. And then save. Now our TARDIS should be working if I go over here and click on the door. Yeah. So wait, what? <clears throat> Hold on. Yeah. So. Oh. Oh wait. Okay, so if you if you click on the flight panel, you can actually fly your TARDIS around like this. And th 
this is an easy way to fly because you you can either put in coordinates or just use your flight panel. And to exit. I'm not actually sure. Cause Okay, not sure how to exit. Yeah, so you can just fly around in your TARDIS, do all that. Let me quickly check my controls and I will be back in a second. Okay, I think I figured it out. So when you go in here, you shift and then click D. And then, yeah, and then that takes you out of your flight panel. And there's a few other things here. That's how you lock your Titus doors. Uh, tar Titus, Tardis. Those are closed. Okay, so you can open and close the door from the outside. And from the inside. Um, flight lever. Um, okay, so. I know why it wasn't working. You put in the coordinates that you want on the TARDIS monitor, you save it, and you click the flight lever. Perfect. Okay. So... I should be landed by now. Oh, no. I'm in flight. I think it's just a lot easier. I think the only reason you should even click on the monitor and do this is if you're going to other planets, which I'm gonna show in a second. If you go to other planets, then... If, then, if you're not going to other planets, just click on the flight panel and just fly around your tires. Basically, like, create a flight. It's pretty cool. Okay, so now we should be back onto the ground. Yep. And... If I walk out, I should be oh on the water. Okay, perfect. So now I'm going to break this TARDIS. Get rid of it. Oh yeah. Also, if you lose your TARDIS, you can just click the button and it reboots. Oh, I'm just gonna say bye to the TARDIS. Now we're gonna check out one of the coolest ones, in my opinion. The oak tree, because you put it. Oh yeah, you okay? So you put it down, and it's just a tree, so nobody can even tell besides. The what the flip? It's like what the heck? Okay, I've actually never. Okay, so okay, put it down right there. Then to open this, you open it. And that's kind of cool. The door opening and here is the inside of this TARDIS if you like like the outdoor vibes I would really recommend this one because you and if you don't like the outside how it looks on the outside you can always change what it looks like with the making a new chameleon thing and just keep the inside and yeah, so we have this, this is the inside of this one, and we are going to go to, we are actually going to go to a planet. I think I'm going to head to the moon, then I click save, and then flight lever. flight and it comes with little benches too that's pretty cool and if you do not like this control panel there's also a ton of different panels that you can choose from oh wait these are just the TARDISes um oh here's the decorations holograms headstands um, some gates and stuff all that 
And in another episode, I'm going to show the weapons. I think in part three, I'm going to show weapons. This should be around a five-part series because I'm going to try to go through the weapons, the gadgets, the clothing, items, decorations, they have blocks, and food, which is one of my favorite parts about this because I really like food. But, okay, we should be here now. this correctly we should be on yep see and now your tree is sitting on the moon with some of these dudes and, uh, and if you go to the moon there's random you know things that can spawn here like this space place and all that that's pretty cool and yeah so we have that now I'm gonna head back to Actually no, we're just gonna continue here. So we looked at the Pokeball and the Oak Tree. So now we're gonna look at Gingerbread one, which I really like the design of this. It looks pretty cool. And I kinda like the inside of it too. This is the inside. Uh, it looks really good. This is so clean as an inside. We have the rat the jacket rack or whatever we have a campfire that actually has flames these chairs that you can actually sit in Christmas present oh and I didn't even know that was a thing if you click on the Christmas present it actually gives you something so yeah you have that I really like the design of this and all that yeah that's why this is probably my second favorite I really like this one because of the outside more than the inside. To me, the outside looks so good. I really like the blue, how they, how the different colors mix and all that. It just looks really clean. And this is the inside. It's still pretty clean. I really like the inside. It's just, in my opinion, the inside of this is a little small. So, if you're thinking about living in your TARDIS, I would not recommend the, um, I would not recommend Ed's TARDIS. Now, we're going to choose three random ones and look through those, and then I guess I will call that an episode. Okay. We're going to go by closing my eyes. Boom. Wait, that's the same one I just had. One. Boom. That one. I want to go down here a little because we really... I remember. Ooh, okay, and then one more. The shed, okay. Let's go to the ninth Doctor's TARDIS. You know, normal, okay. I've actually never seen this one. So. Oh. I don't really know how I feel about the inside of this. It's big, spacious. You can put some chests up here with, you know, crafting table, all that. It's pretty big. I really kind of like the space of it but I don't know if I how I like the little hole things on the wall it's kind of weird to me okay and then we're gonna check out I think I'm gonna go to the shed the, oh yeah okay so this is like a shed you know I've actually never seen the inside of this one either so oh this is big why epic? The inside of this is pretty big. Why? And and the um yeah, it comes with an anvil, just pretty nice. Basically free Robin, iron, Robin, especially Robin, if you download Robin. like the if you download if you like don't need an anvil and you download like Tinker's Construct to make a smeltery, you can smelt that iron into liquid and yeah this is pretty big inside i kind of like this one i think i would switch that out for the um 
for Ed's TARDIS. Wait, what the heck? Oh, I had to click on the black. I wasn't expecting it like an actual door. Okay, now we have the vanilla bricks. Okay, so this is just two pieces of brick. It'd be really cool to disguise it as like a chimney on your house. So when you go to leave, you open up your chimney and just walk in. Oh, this one. I love this. I really like this. This is a big TARDIS. You have like so much room to do things. I gotta go. Like, eat a And, yeah. So much room to do things. And I really do like this one. Oh, wait. And you can. Oh, this one's big. Oh, wow. There must be some. I think this one would be way worth crafting. Because then you have this. This one's a bit laggy, though. This is how big it is. What the? Is that a hole? Wait, is that my other TARDISes? Huh. <laughs> I, you could um always like connect your TARDISes like if you had multiple. That's pretty cool. I didn't wasn't. That's like actually really cool. Okay, so yeah, guys, that's gonna leave it off here for part one of the Dalek mod. I hope you liked it. Um, we have around three more parts coming. And in the next one, I'm going to focus on the weapons and the gadgets, so stay tuned for that. And yeah, goodbye, and see you in the next one.